Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this update, we are going to check out ICP's price chart and see what is going on in the short term. And I'm going to tell you what might be the next likely move. But before we get into all that, at the beginning, we are going to talk about this very important tweet from Dominic Williams. And he talks about the combination of internet computer plus Motoko plus caffeine AI. And that is the whole stack for you. Now, here's the idea. It's actually quite simple. You see, Dominic says AI is going to write the code for you, deploy it, and also run it all on the blockchain, meaning you are going to have no cloud, no middleman, no centralized APIs, and the whole thing is going to live on a public network, and that is pretty much it, the whole idea behind ICP and Caffeine AI. Now, you might ask, well, okay, why should we care about this? Because when you remove the cloud, you actually remove a ton of friction, meaning you don't really need to worry about, for example, censorship, maybe vendor lock-in, or somebody maybe flipping a switch on your backend. Everything is going to be out in the open, and also the runtime is part of the chain itself. Now, let's talk about Motoko a little bit, because it's very important to know that Motoko is a language built specifically for ICP's actor model system, meaning it is structured in a way that artificial intelligence can actually work with it. Meaning, you don't really need to force fit, for example, generated code into some weird framework. Motoko in this scenario is just simply able to plug and run. And that is a big deal if you want artificial intelligence to go beyond just simple toy demos and actually build usable services for you. And I think we definitely want to see something useful from Caffeine AI because, well, guess what? In about, I think, 20 days, we are going to have the freemium model going live, meaning what? Everybody is going to have access to Caffeine AI. You can pay a fee and then all of the ICP capabilities is going to be on your hand. So again, you definitely do not want toy demos. You want something that actually works. And what about some errors, for example? You see, if the system is deterministic, which by the way, ICP is actually designed that way, then okay, artificial intelligence can actually make mistakes, but those mistakes are not going to crash the whole thing. And you can, for example, replay, retry, and recover without corrupting the data. And that is a big win for reliability because when it comes to AI building applications for you, then okay, you're not really manually going to change the code, are you? You are counting completely on artificial intelligence. And in this case, caffeine to do the job for you. And if it's going to make a mistake and crash the whole system, well, that's not really ideal. There's basically nothing that you are able to do. But again, thank God the system is simply not designed that way. So I'm going to say you're not really going to have those kinds of problems. Also, security is kind of another important angle. And I'm going to say a huge, huge advantage for ICP and caffeine. Why? Simple reason. You see, when code is tamper-proof and stored on chain, it is going to be way, way harder for attackers to snake in, for example, some malicious logic after deployment. You are going to have verifiable provenance so you know exactly what is running and where is it coming from. And finally, let's talk about speed and cost because when you collapse all the layers, meaning you are going to have no cloud, no deployment pipeline, no serialization, you get massive, massive gains. And Dominic talks about in this tweet, potentially 1000 times the speed and also 1000 times cost reduction. And that, my friends, is really the key word, cost reduction. Because I think ICP and Caffeine AI combo is going to be fantastic and it is definitely going to be a useful tool. But the main question is, are we going to end up having massive amounts of adoption or not? And in my view, pretty much all of it does come down to the pricing model. If you are able to come up with a competitive pricing model, for example, the cost to build a huge completely functioning app on ICP is going to be, I don't know, let's say 50% less than the cost of building that same app on some other platforms, then okay, naturally, adoption is going to come your way now 
Let's talk about something that always shows up when a project starts getting close to real traction and I think we also talked about this in the previous video but I'm going to just touch on it a little bit and then we are going to go on the live chart. So what is that? I think you know it. It is FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt. And right now, well, ICP is getting hit with a wave of it. You see, right now, if you check out Twitter, some people are calling ICP wave over. Some people are saying that it is overhyped, questioning the tech. And sure, maybe some of it is fair, but here is the situation. This actually happens right before something breaks out. And it's not just really random. If you are in the crypto market, you probably know what I mean. Because when a project moves from research mode to actual product launches, it is going to start threatening incumbents, other platforms, big players, even parts of the community that feel left out. They are going to start pushing back a little bit. And that is how narratives might shift. And it can maybe, maybe slow down the sentiment a little bit. Also, there is the growing pace. You see, I fully understand this. And we talked about this specific issue a couple of months back back when caffeine AI wasn't actually a real thing from some people's perspective. We said you are going to have early bugs, maybe scaling issues, maybe demos that don't necessarily land well. And these unfortunately are going to turn into some headlines. But most of the time, these are just normal product development noise and every serious platform goes through it and there is just simply nothing to be worried about as long as we are not seeing, for example, something completely out of order. Now, let's flip the lens a little bit because ICP at the moment is really not trying to win the speculation game. You can definitely see it on Twitter. They don't really pay a lot of people to tweet positive things about them. They don't even pay any influencer, to my knowledge at least, which in my view is actually not a bad thing at all. I think this literally shows that they are trying to build stuff that real customers actually care about. And if Caffeine AI is going to deliver what it promises, meaning what? Yep production ready code from AI prompts, then okay, the whole distribution model is going to change. You don't need hype. You just need people who want to build something useful. And if again, it comes back to the pricing, if the pricing model is right and also competitive at the same time, you are going to see adoption definitely, definitely coming your way. And ICP is going to be a massive success. Now, let's add institutional interest to the mix, including, for example, regulators, maybe enterprises, maybe even public sector. And well, in that case, you got a different kind of growth. You are going to have recurring use cases, long term integrations. And that is the kind of adoption that doesn't really care what Twitter or maybe the market at any given moment thinks. You see, in the blockchain space, a lot of us are talking about, for example, I don't know, let's say Algorand, let's say Near Portugal or some other projects. And the narrative actually gets quite strong when we are having specifically an all season. Now, I don't really have any problem with that, but I would really like to see a crypto project trying to also attract massive amounts of adoption outside of the crypto market by what yes by building something useful because that way you are going to have sustainable growth and you don't really care about for example four-year cycles and altcoin season you're just going to have consistent adoption depending on whether your product is good or not so Overall, at the moment, the FUD is quite loud, but the fundamentals are quietly lining up. And if the tooling lands right, well, okay, I believe internet computer might actually end up being the first real utility driven breakout in Web3. And hopefully that is going to happen. So let's just wrap this up by taking a look at the bigger picture. You see, Dominic's tweet points out to something very, very important. And it is the fact that ICP might be the first Web3 platform that gets mass adoption because people actually need what it offers. And let's be honest, most blockchains out there at the moment are in basically a speculation mode. You build something, hope it pumps, and maybe if it does, okay, you are going to make a back. But ICP, on the other hand, is trying to at least push a different angle, meaning utility first. If you are a business or a solo builder and you can go from idea to live service in literally minutes, that is going to be a game changer for you. So, you know, why wouldn't you consider ICP to build your app on? Because Caffeine and Motoko 
are actually kind of the key in this whole equation if they really deliver on low friction app creation promise then okay i'm gonna say onboarding is going to become very much simple because you don't really need to be a developer you don't even need to understand tokenomics and motoko you're just going to build by talking to ai and who doesn't like that this is literally how mainstream adoption starts and it starts when complexity is going to drop and trust is going to go up big time and institutions they actually care about stuff like for example censorship resistance for example verifiability maybe other trails and icp guess what actually checks all those boxes that my friends is why it's kind of getting some attention from sectors like education and also media at the moment and finally let's add the element of composability to the equation because if services built on icp can easily plug into each other then okay you are going to get ecosystems marketplaces plugins maybe even shared tooling and that is going to i promise you compound adoption really really fast and you will end up having a network of applications that reinforces each other which is fantastic and actually the ideal scenario and of course in here FUD absolutely is going to spike and i want you to understand this this is completely normal when a project moves from a theory to launch competitors push back some bugs might actually get a bit exaggerated and misunderstood demos can turn into clickbait videos for example i don't know let's say i built this app on icp and it just destroyed the whole ecosystem things like that you are going to see it in youtube and also twitter i promise you that but having said all that i need you to understand most of these things are going to end up being just simple noise and you need to understand that the fundamentals are the things that actually matter and here is my last point you see icp is trying to build the infrastructure that actually works and you are going to have cheap hosting instant deployment no cloud login and real compliance and if the tolling lands right and also also again it's very very important for me for the pricing model to be in the right place then okay i'm going to argue you are going to attract massive massive amounts of adoption and finally your patience in the mid to long term is going to get rewarded big time i do not believe that we are going to have mass adoption overnight no that is simply not the case however from my point of view i don't really care about that no i just want us to be in the right path meaning every single day relative to the day before we need to be one step forward in the right direction if we are doing that you know what that's absolutely fine by me i do not really want to see some big contracts or maybe some massive breakthroughs instantly necessarily no as long as we are on the right direction from my pov that's more than enough so in terms of fundamentals based on what we are seeing at the moment in the market and also given the fact that in about 20 days we are going to have the freemium model of caffeine ai launching then okay i'm gonna say we are indeed on our bullish path however the price well unfortunately in the short term is not really reacting to that good stuff why because if you remember the last time that we talked about icp i think we were right in here and the idea was that well okay this is quite a strong move on the downside and did we actually take the loss or not no we didn't do that and i think we also said that this definitely looks a lot like a 5 8 impulsive structure so we may very well see a bounce back but that might be just a simple pullback and followed by that you may see a continuation of the move down and seems like that we are actually having that now let's go on h4 time frame because i want to tell you why right now i'm not really going to buy icp for the mid to long term and it actually has a very simple reason you see i was actually buying icp right around the seven eight dollar level but the moment that we went down i bought around these lows big time and i managed to reduce my average purchase to i think it was somewhere around 4.6 4.5 dollars so anything above four and a half bucks I'm not really interested buying but the moment that we see i don't know let's say from the current point like a 10 percent move down you bet that i'm going to add to my icp portfolio now are we going to get that move down in my view probably yes you see whenever you are having a couple of lows quite close together usually around the lows a lot of people a lot of mostly amateur traders are going to 
open some long positions and they want to see yet another bounce back basically the repeated pattern right in here now the price might initially cooperate with them but in most cases whenever we are having more than i don't know let's say three four those close together at one point you're actually going to see a move down in order to break all the lows and gather the liquidity under them why is there a decent bit of liquidity around here because those short-term traders actually put their stop losses under the loss now i think we may end up having something similar in icp and excuse me let's just have everything okay you see how many lows do we have in here this is one two three four five six seven eight lows quite close together and i'm going to say these are looking very much juicy and there's like a good chance in the short term we may see at least yet another move down in order to take them all which the lowest low is worth about 4.3 dollars now question is that going to be such a bad sign absolutely 100 not in fact i would argue if we end up getting another move down and maybe even reach to about let's say the 3.9 3.8 dollar level that's actually going to be most likely the last move on the downside in internet computer and after it i do expect a very strong bounce back and for example how long is it taking for us to have this consolidation pattern this supposedly consolidation pattern let's say about as you can see 170 80 days let's say basically six months i actually expect if we get another move down a very quick bounce back which is going to happen let's say in a span of like 10 to 15 days and in here we are just going to completely engulf this whole six month correction structure and i think we talked about this before but in the crypto market especially we are having the idea of 90 10 playing out beautifully meaning what 90 percent of the moves only happen in 10 percent of the time and i think it was like in quant video and i'm going to talk about it in the next q &T update one of my viewers said well okay you are also saying that q &T is going to have a massive bull run and we are going to get a move up but why is it that we are not getting a move on the upside and why is it that my bags are not getting pumped again it's that idea of 90 10 because 90 percent of the move happen 10 percent of the time well okay that means what in 90 percent of the time i'm saying that we are going to pump but those pumps only happen in 10 percent of the time so you know me saying that we are going to pump big time and the price is not going to go up instantly might get a bit annoying for you but you know the market doesn't really care about what you i or for that matter anybody else thinks the market does what it does we are just here to analyze it i can tell you we are going to pump big time from the current point effective immediately maybe we're going to have like a 700 percent move are we going to end up having that move no absolutely not so i think we need to be realistic and again if you want to be realistic i think you do have the structures for icp to end up having a magnificent bull run by the end of this cycle please please remember this this is my primary scenario i think this is five wave up into a wave one followed by a correction for wave two which one very important characteristic of it is being absolutely slow and choppy and this correction started back in january of 2024 in other words it has been more than about let's say 18 months since we are having this consolidation pattern and this move up believe it or not yep only happened in a span of three months so again this is absolutely by all accounts a very slow and choppy move down and i'm going to say it's hopefully going to be into wave two meaning what six yes you guessed it right huge move up into wave three and four and five so overall mid to long term we are looking great but you know in the short term let's say in the next couple of weeks in case that we get another move down it's going to be in my view very much normal and for my pov at least it is going to be a beautiful buy opportunity potentially even the last buying opportunity for us and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers charts anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next update i hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones goodbye